Romania's Prime Minister announces his candidate and seeks an economic portfolio at the European Commission. The Institute for the Study of War believes that Ukraine's Kursk incursion proved Russia's border is not impermeable. Blood supplies are flown between hospitals by drone in a trial scheme that could be rolled out across the country. Hungarian men living in Ukraine speak about how and why they escaped military conscription. Romania's Prime Minister Marjal Ciolacu met with European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen in Brussels to discuss the country's candidate and portfolio in the new executive term. Similar to Italy and the Czech Republic, the Romanian leader declared he wanted his commissioner to have a portfolio linked to economic policies. Îmi doresc un portofoliu cât mai relevant, ținând cont că suntem a șase, șasea țară ca și mărime din cadrul Uni Uniunii Europene. Am vorbit și domnul președinte pe, pe extindere, deci vom vedea. Eu mi-aș dori, mi dori să rămânem... A, por portofoliu pe extindere e, e mai mult politic. Eu mi-aș dori și cred eu că următorii ani țin foarte mult de de economie. Sunt despre economie. Mi-aș dori ceva în această zonă. Ciolacu's pick for the position is one of the vice presidents of the European Parliament, the socialist MEP Victor Negrescu. Bucharest also did not present a female name, despite Ursula von der Leyen requesting this from all member states. Negrescu justified his pick to Euronews by arguing that the last two Romanian commissioners were women and emphasized his youth instead, as he is 39 years old. I think what is important for the commission is to have someone that is uh, involved at European level, that has the experience necessary to be part of the European Commission. Of course, I'm also young and I think we also need young people uh, in the commission because we want to be appealing to uh, young citizens across Europe that have uh, participated quite, uh, to, uh, to quite to a large extent at the European election. The Prime Minister will only make the official announcement on August 26th after a final battle with the other two parties in the government coalition who have also presented candidates. Negrescu has been in the European Parliament for around a decade, interrupted by a year's experience as Minister for European Affairs. Ursula von der Leyen expects to receive the names of all the candidates from countries by the end of August. Two weeks into Kyiv's surprise incursion into Russian territory and Ukrainian forces show no sign of stopping as Ukraine crossing from Sumy into Russia's Kursk region caught everyone off guard, including civilians, observers, Ukraine's Western allies and some Russian authorities. According to Institute for the Study of War analyst, the operational security was crucial. The, the basically secrecy in which the planning for this was shrouded in is proving to be very, very important. And I think that Ukraine rightly learned from its experience planning for the 2023 counteroffensive last year, because there was a lot of messaging and a lot of telegraphing for that. And it really allowed the West, but also Russia to basically anticipate where Ukraine was going to attack and when. Experts from the Institute for the Study of War believes that seeing the conflict reach their own border could change the Russian people's perspective on the war. There's so many nuances that right now seem very fresh, but I think will generate discontent in the long term. The use of conscripts, for example, and then more broadly, that idea that the Russian border is not impermeable, that it is actually a vulnerability and that Russian society needs to start seeing it as a vulnerability. I think that will change a lot of the way ways that 
Russian society is viewing the war and seeing kind of how the war can actually be felt by the Russian domestic populace, whereas they've been very largely apathetic towards it in the past. Ukraine claims to have seized over a thousand square kilometers in the Kursk region, surpassing what Russia captured in Ukraine over eight months. Yet the term war remains banned here, as it does throughout the rest of Russia. Blood supplies have been flown between two hospitals by drone in a trial the company behind the scheme hopes will be rolled out across the country. Five identical blood packs made the 68-kilometre journey from the Wandsbeck Hospital to Annick Infirmary and back again in the northern county of Northumberland. The trial flight could offer the solution to how to deliver vital blood to hospitals quickly and easily. In this particular trial, we flew 10 packs of red blood cells with NHS blood and transplant uh, and drove 10 identical packs and essentially, on the other end, analyzed those in the laboratory and proved that there was no difference between the two packs, which means that delivering it by drone is a safe method of transport. Around 5,000 bags of blood are needed every day in the UK for transfusions and operations, but donors and patients are often miles apart. The trials are aimed at getting approval to use drone transportation in the UK. And this could be really a great breakthrough for trying to get blood um, across areas where it's difficult to get through. So thinking about in the middle of London, with traffic, actually using a drone would be much quicker. While the drone trials have so far been well received, a full-scale rollout of the scheme would need to be approved by the Civil Aviation Authority. Every day, the number of graves in the park next to the Calvary Cemetery in Ushhorod, western Ukraine, grows. This place has become the memorial site for recent fallen fighters of Transcarpathia. Roughly 70,000 Ukrainian soldiers have died since Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine, according to US estimates. A 43 éves Igort mindössze 10 nappal ezelőtt temették el itt az Ungvári katona temetőben. Sírján még mindig halomban állnak az elszáradt koszorúk. Az utóbbi időszakban szinte minden napra jutott egy gyászertartás, a bújdosó katona köteles férfiaknak pedig egyetlen bűnük van, hogy nem szeretnének ide kerülni. Some Hungarian men in Transcarpathia went home to escape Ukraine's military drafts. Others did not. Two Hungarian Ukrainian men hiding in western Ukraine spoke to Euronews about how dodging the conscription has impacted them. Hát, amikor lehet megyünk, ha nem lehet, akkor otthon maradunk. Honnan tudjátok, hogy nem lehet? Hát azért egymást értesíteni. Bármilyen móddal, akár egy telefon, vagy, vagy írunk egy üzenetet, hogy merre van útlezárás. While thousands share information online of how to escape the clutches of recruitment officers, another man has a different technique. Hát jön a feleségem előttem, kocsival. Nézi, ne legyen sehol a rendőrség vagy a katonaság, de általában a katonaság az a rendőrökkel van. Így kerülünk a munkába. És ha lát? Hát akkor meg menjünk, mert a két szemünk lát, úgy mondom, hogy van. Neki a bokrosnak vagy ki már elkerülni. One local says he has heard stories in Ushorod of bribes to avoid the front lines getting more expensive. Azt mondta, hogy őt 800 euró elengedték. Tovább kilt a kapun, azt mondták, mint tovább, de a kapunk kiengedték. Na de az, van, aki 5000-et fizetett. According to the Center for European Policy Analysis, Kyiv needs hundreds of thousands of more soldiers to defeat Russia's army. Lithuania has unveiled what it calls its first counter-mobility park in the country's east. It features roadblocks, various barriers and dragon's teeth anti-tank obstacles. It's part of the Baltic defence line slowly taking shape on NATO's eastern frontier. Lithuania's defence minister said the equipment will improve the country's defensive potential and bolster the security of its borders with Russia and Belarus.
A mobile ramp, a giant swim belt and two helping hands. That's all it takes to enjoy the summer in Balaton, even for those who live their whole life in a wheelchair. After a four-year break, the Murtis Charity Service has held its five-day youth camp, in which 105 people with physical disabilities participated in, each with a volunteer by their side. Balaton, ami Riviérank, úgyhogy ide tudunk jönni, fürdő program van, kivisszük őket a vízre, most pont amíg beszélünk, vitorláznak, egy része a strandon van, sokaknak ez az első alkalom, amikor víz közelbe kerülnek és kimennek a vízre. The campers could enjoy a sports exhibition featuring para-athletes alongside a fun fair with bull riding, skill games and target shooting. They could even race cars with their minds. For Richard, this is his sixth camp. He says the most important thing is that there are no barriers and anyone can make friends here. Egészségesek és sérültek együtt tudják kiegészítve egymást segíteni és programokat együtt megélni. Young people can finally party together. During the day they sing retro hits on the sailboat and in the evening they can have a beer or two during the concerts. Itt négyen fociznak kerekes székekből, pedig közülük csak egy fiatal mozgás sérült. Ennek a tábornak pont az a lényege, hogy egészségesek és fogyatékkal élők együtt érezzék jól magukat, és minden fiatal megértse, hogy milyen lehet tolószékbe kényszerülni. Sipos egy Zoltán, Euronews Balatonfenyves.